Britain is in the midst of a housing crisis. Not enough new homes are being built, and it's harder than ever to afford a house. This man thinks we have to reboot our thinking about property. Think of the phone that you have now, and now think of the phone that they had 100 years ago. Think of the car that you're driving now, and then think of what cars look like 100 years ago. They're totally different. Now think of the house that you're living in now, and the houses they were living in 100 years ago. But they've barely changed. In some ways, they've got worse. So during the height of our economic boom, supposedly, in the UK, Britain was building the second smallest houses in the whole of Europe. Why is this? Most of the houses we build are not actually designed as places to live. They're designed as financial assets to sell or to rent. And so it's really not a surprise that we live in small, tiny boxes that aren't very sustainable. And the truth is that since the Industrial Revolution, the basic idea has been that homes can only be built by large organisations on our behalf, whether it's, it's a big a private developer or the state. And what they do is they will essentially buy a plot of land and they'll build rows and rows of identical little boxes and then we move in them and get a big mortgage. What I want to do is put the tools and the capabilities into the hands of people. Wikihouse is an open source construction system. The idea is to use the power of the web and digital fabrication to radically simplify the process of making really high performance houses that can be customised to individual people's needs and in individual locations. Can then be downloaded and effectively printed out in parts then self-assembled like a massive flat pack by anyone. Why is this a good idea? What you're actually doing is putting a huge amount of power into your hands instead of making you dependent as a consumer, and that also means dependent on getting yet more debt and having an even bigger mortgage. You, you basically print out a flat pack, it arrives, you and your friends put it up, you produce a house, and then you plug it into the utilities, and there you have a house. Well, that's what we're working on. But surely I'm going to just go online and I'm going to look at your house, open source house, and I'm going to print that one off and so is everybody else in my road and everyone in the next town and we're all going to end up with exactly the same houses. Except for the fact that it's going to become easier and easier to not do that. So in the 20th century, the reason why we ended up in these rows of little yeah. identical boxes was because it was just too hard to bother doing anything else except copy and paste, copy and paste. Well, the first thing is, is, the moment you put the technology and the tools into the hands of the person who's going to live there, they go, no, actually, I am slightly different. We can already see that happening. If you go down any row of terraced houses in Britain, you walk down the front of the row, they all look polite and the same because, you know, we're British and that's what we like. But round the back, that's where all the naughty secrets are because everyone's been changing and adapting their houses to their own needs. I'd love to own a new house, uh, print off a 3D house and uh, knock down my old one, but I'm allowed to because planning permission means that somebody else actually owns what I do on my plot of land. How's that going to change? Governments, like everyone, are, are coming to the end of their ability to just produce more debt. And they realise that we need to radically change the system and take the opportunity of this what's been called the third industrial revolution. But on the other side, there will be kind of slow coaches in government who will have to really think about what does this mean for our planning systems? What does it mean for regulation? What does it mean for giving people a right to build, which is something that the British government are talking about right now, um, in terms of giving you a right to buy a plot of land and making that a much more normal part of our um, housing provision. So we'll find out, but the truth is, in general, governments tend to follow more than they lead. So potentially, I could wake up on a Tuesday, decide I want to print a house, and by the Friday it gets delivered, and it's up within a couple of weeks. Uh, not now, but in a few years' time, that's totally, totally plausible. Yeah. My neighbours will hate me. <laughs>